Hey everybody, Eric here from Around 2 at RC, and today we're going to be looking at the GB by Electrify. Now this is a receiver-ready EP sport scale airplane, and it's molded out of air cell foam. Now I've already put the plane together, and before I show it to you, let's do a 30 second unboxing. Okay, here's the completed GB sitting on the table in front of me, and the build time on the airplane was a little bit over an hour. It took me a little bit of extra time to put the flying wire on the airplane itself to give it that authentic look, which turned out really nice in my opinion. And before we dive into the airplane itself and tell you all about it, let's talk about what you need to complete this build. First, you're going to need a battery for the airplane, and I'll be using an Electrofly 3 cell 11.1 volt 2200 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery with a 25C discharge rate. Also, you're going to need a receiver for the airplane and a transmitter, at least a four channel transmitter because this airplane has aileron, elevator, rudder, and throttle control. And I'll be using my Futaba 8FG Super Radio to control the airplane, and in the airplane itself, I'll be using a Futaba receiver. All right, let's talk about what was already installed in the GB when I pulled it out of the box. For the powertrain, you have a powerful brushless outrunner motor and an Electrofly 30 amp ESC. And there were also four micro servos already installed in the airplane. Now let's talk about the main wing itself and how easy it was to install on the airplane. Now the main wing comes in one piece and the aileron servos were already pre-installed and it quickly connects to the airframe using just one nylon bolt. Alright, let's talk about the wheels and the wheel pants real quick before we move on. And they were super easy to install on the airplane because everything's held together with magnets and there's no screws needed to complete the build of this airplane. All you have to do is slide the wheels onto the main wing and they attach magnetically and also the wheel pants are attached magnetically. Now moving on to the vertical tail section of the airplane, it comes in two pieces and it's held onto the main fuse using magnets again and you have a carbon fiber rod for extra support on the airplane. Okay, now let's pop the hatch on this airplane and take a look at the internals of it. Now the hatch is held onto the airplane using strong magnets, as you can tell, right there. And let's take a look at the inside. On the inside of the airplane, you can see the pre-installed rudder and elevator servos, and there's just tons of room in there to install your own receiver. And then in the center where you see the Velcro, that's where you would install your battery pack for the airplane. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the hatch back on the airplane and talk about some of the plane spec real quick before we take it out to the flying field. Now the wingspan on the airplane is 38 and a half inches long, or 980 millimeters. The length of the airplane is 27 inches long, or 685 millimeters. And the flying weight is 1.75 to 2 pounds, or 790 to 910 grams, depending on your flight setup. Well, that's about it for the first part of the review for the GB. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy out to the flying field and give it a try, okay?
<laughs> You're going faster than you have been now. Gotta find it. He's getting a feel for her. Hello there. Thumbs up on the GB. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. That's You've a great flying it. airplane, isn't it? Nice landing. All right, let's take it back to the shop and break it on down for you. All right, that was the review and flight of the GB by Electrofly. And let me give you my final thoughts on the airplane since I've flown it now. First, let's talk about the looks of the airplane itself. I was very impressed with the scale detail of the airplane. The molded aerosol foam fuselage with the paneling lines installed on it give it that added look of realism. And the icing on the cake was the fly wires on the airplane itself, which didn't take that much longer to install. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier was if you remove the 10 by 7 prop, you have quick and easy access to your motor and motor mount because the cow is held onto the fuselage with magnets. Okay, now the airplane flight characteristics itself I really did enjoy flying the airplane. Remember, it's a four channel control airplane. And I was able to do some mild sport aerobatic maneuvers with it with no problems whatsoever. This plane was just a breeze to fly and I really did enjoy it. Now, the flight time on the battery is around seven or eight minutes. I don't know if you could extend that anymore. I really didn't want to push my limits on it being this was the maiden flight. But I think you can expect at least that much time when you fly the airplane yourself. Now, who would I recommend this airplane to? I wouldn't really recommend this airplane to the novice or beginner pilot because of the low wing design and the aileron control and also being a tail dragger, but I would recommend it to the intermediate and advanced flyers and for those people you're going to have a blast with this airplane just like I did. Now overall I really did enjoy flying the airplane and I think you will too. And for more information on this airplane you can find it on towerhobbies.com, their website and I'll be providing a direct link to their website for this plane in my video notes. So be sure to read my video notes and go check this plane out at TowerHobby.com. So it comes to the end of the review now. Overall, I enjoy flying this airplane. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I think you're going to enjoy it just like I did. And that's about it. So as always, I'm glad you got to see me and I'll see you later on the tube, okay? Touch and go. <laughs> Gotta do that again. One more again. One more again. <laughs>